Hello friends, welcome back with me, Mike. So today I'm going I'm going to um create about Facebook or Instagram API. We are gonna know the usage of this API, which is exchanging FB short life token to long life token, get business ID, get the list of your Instagram posts, managing comments, get Instagram access token and lastly replying comment privately or dm dm or private message so the first step you need to do is requirement for requirements you need facebook account and facebook page instagram professional account business or creator account links facebook and instagram and lastly facebook developer account for first uh, you need to create your facebook account if you don't have one but you can just log in with your existing testing account so next uh, just create your instagram account or login if you are already have instagram account but for testing not private account and don't forget to switch your account into professional account business or creator because it will be needed if your account is basic it won't work and then link your instagram professional account into your facebook account you can do it by clicking into your profile and settings and privacy then go to settings you can find a link account or link profile but it's already gone because i already link my instagram to facebook so next create your facebook page just go to home and uh, see in left side menu menu find four pages just click create new page and fill the required information for facebook page id you can just go to your page for me here api tester you can just go to about and page transparency here you can find your page a day and for next, you need to open developers.facebook.com. From here, uh, if you don't have an account, it will be sign up or, or create an account. But if you are already logged in and have an account, the text will be my apps. Just click it. And here I already have one API tester for creating the documentation, but we'll just repeat it once again. <laughs> and don't forget to fill the application name. Uh, for me, it's it will be API tester two. For use case, just ignore it and select other. Or application type just select business and review your application details and then create your application okay the next will be add your products to your application uh, here we are gonna add uh instagram product and facebook login for business api just click on setup on the box api setup with instagram business login don't configure it or don't edit it just add product add another product find for facebook login for business just click set up on it. 
um, don't edit or configure it because we are gonna we are just learning here not for production mode or live mode so just save the change and what we are gonna do now um okay just open the grab api explorer facebook you can find on google just click on meta for business formerly facebook for business the grab api explorer now but um looks like i already have an access token here but don't worry it's not different at all for permissions it will be empty here but you can just click a button the gray button here and just find all instagram uh, scoop or permission just check it and some additional scoop needed i already set it on my documentation just pause or take a screenshot of this don't forget for this to patch your list and patch rate engagement after you do that just click on generate access token hmm looks like uh it's a different api tester too but yeah we can just repeat it repeat this step just click check on all instagram permission in the total it will be 13 options selected but it's only nine and we are gonna type on it Dead and nature okay after you click all the prep permissions just generate the access token here and you'll be prompted continue as your account just click continue and select your facebook page and instagram account then review it before you click save api tester has been connected to api tester 2 just got it and you'll get your access token here and what we are gonna do now is okay just get your instagram business id just copy this url and pass it to input in the upper change your page id variables into your page id from before change it just click submit on here and you'll get your instagram business account id for application id and application secret you can just go to your developer page go to app settings basic and you'll find your application id and application secret for facebook short life token and or user token you can just uh, go to your developer page or you can just copy this url sorry mm. you can just open it from tools view all tools and find for access token tool here you can find your user token here just 
block it and copy it for later. After you get your short life token, you need to exchange your short to long life token with this API endpoint. Just copy it, copy it, and change the client ID, client secret, and Facebook exchange token into your own, like Facebook application ID, Facebook application secret and short life token or user life token or you can refresh your long life token here the result may like this it's uh, written the object result and the next uh, we are gonna learn how to get instagram post list this is the API endpoint here. You can just pause the video to get to get the URL, and from here you can change the Instagram business ID with your own. And for the access token, you can use the access token you get from um, Exchange API endpoint. Because I only have one post posted uh, on my account here, so the result just return one object that with caption cool chibi. There is a typo in here, and yes, it's same media type is image. So next, uh, we are gonna get the post comments this is for the api endpoint url and for the media id here you can back to the get instagram post list from data object you can get your media id from here media id and instagram business id is different so don't miss it change your media id comments access token uh, just change your long live token into your own and the result may like this because i have three comments here like gonna keep those chibi really love it cool so the data um returning three objects here with the same text or message and don't forget all comments have unique id so we are need this id to reply and do private message into account so before you can private your private chat your um comments you need to add new tester to your application just go to your developer page just go to application roles select roles and here add people for roles choose instagram tester and find your account on instagram just click add and the status will be pending you need to open your instagram view settings uh, just select apps and website and go to tester in fits just accept it you need to refresh to take an action so the status pending is already gone and after that 
you can get your Instagram access token from product section. Just go to API setup, set up with Instagram login. Uh, just expand the box for generate access token and click on generate token. You'll be prompted uh, for allowing this request. After that, it will return the access token that only show once. Just click done. And yeah, before this, uh, before that, uh, you need to refresh your Instagram access token after 60 days. So after 60 days, your access token will will be invalid or you need to refresh it to be valid again the return may like this so for the last one you need to learn from this is private reply for comment it will reply to selected comment with comment ID. For comment ID, you can go back to the documentation and just find this. Just copy it and change, change the URL Instagram. Oh, sorry. Uh, just change for comment ID here with comment ID before and for Instagram business ID as usual you can find it on here if you forget your uh, business ID but one thing you should be aware this is the post action not get action so it requires body and headers section and for the body section you need a recipient object and message object for a recipient you can use common id instead of user id and for a message uh, you can custom it so it's yeah it's required but you can custom it for headers it required authorization uh, with better token and you can just change this instagram access token with your access token before we get in developer dashboard here for content type just let it application or json and for example like this it will be auto reply for all comments with command id to my account so yeah that's all and sorry if my bad english i'm still learning and Hope this tutorial will help you to understand Facebook or Instagram API. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for listening to me. <laughs> and goodbye.